neon belly. Some things that we need to know about neon belly, of course, we have to have three seconds of stabilization time in order to get awarded two points. But let's talk about our knee and feet positioning. So my knee and shin must be on my opponent's torso. And it doesn't matter if my foot is on the ground with laces, with toes, or off of the ground and completely cupping them. What's important is the fact that my knee is up onto his torso and my shin is on his torso. So when just my knee is on his hip like this, it seems my shin's not on. So once I have my knee to the center or across is when the referee, you can definitely tell that the person has knee on belly. This foot technical placement doesn't matter for this guy over here. This foot doesn't technically matter how it is, okay? This foot over here is the one that matters. It needs to be on the sole of the foot and it can't be on my knee, okay? So I have to be here, I can't be on my knee. I can't be sideways like this. I need to be on the sole of my foot and I can't be on my knee. I also cannot be in reverse knee on belly and gain knee on belly points. However, you can be in reverse knee on belly and gain guard pass points. So I can gain guard pass points for it, but I wouldn't gain knee on belly points. I would then get knee on belly points once I switch to the traditional knee on belly. My upper body grips don't matter. I can be holding his arms, attacking his neck, pushing, hands on the mat. It doesn't matter where my hands are. But the one thing that also matters is he can't have any like spider or last leg. He can't have any version of a guard while I'm in the on belly, right? He can't have 50-50, he can't have spider or any version of a guard. He can't have while I'm in the on belly for me to get points for the on belly.